So you're thinking about moving to Brantford, Ontario, but you're not really sure if this is the right city for you. Well, you're in the right spot because I'm going to go over the pros and cons of living in Brantford, Ontario, so you know exactly what to expect when you're moving to this city. Hey guys, Jeff from the Brantford Realty Group here. Thanks again so much for tuning in. If you're new here and you want to learn everything there is to know about Brantford, the good, the bad, the ugly, and everything to do with the real estate market, you're going to want to subscribe because I come out with new videos every week that are packed full of value. So let's get right into it. Now, Brantford is known as the telephone city, and that's because the inventor Alexander Graham Bell called Brantford his home. Now, not only do we have world famous inventors who live here, but this is also the home of Wayne Gretzky, the number one, the great one in hockey. This city offers all of the amenities of a big city, but still maintains its small town feel. Located just 20 minutes outside of Hamilton, an hour and 20 minutes outside of Toronto, an hour to London, and about half an hour to Cambridge. Brantford is the perfect remote working city or a close commute for those who work in the GTHA and the Peel region. Mind you, these times can vary a lot depending on when you leave to get to your destination. The rush hour here in the GTA and GTHA is incredibly horrendous. It's absolutely the worst. So let's get into the cons and just get them right out of the way. Now, the first con is the crime and the drug problem. Brantford, like many other cities surrounding the greater Hamilton area, has had its fair share of issues with fentanyl and drug use. Now, over the last couple of years, we've seen a, a high increase in the amount of drug users and drug related crime. It does have one of the highest crime rates in Ontario because of this. Now, the crime rate has come down quite a bit in the last little while. And this is because the Brantford Police Department has had several successful operations that have helped to crack down on crime in the area. Now, I just wanna take a moment and thank the Brantford Police Services because they have done such an incredible job and it is not an easy one to do. So my hat's off to you guys. You do an incredible job. Keep up the good work. Thanks for everything that you do. Now, the next con is the soaring real estate prices. Now, just like many other cities in the greater Hamilton area and the GTA, we've Brantford has seen an influx of remote workers coming into the city in order to find cheaper real estate. And because of this, the prices have gone up here almost double in around five years. So much like the surrounding cities of Toronto, such as Peel, a lot of the local residents now feel that they have been priced out of their hometown market. You're gonna to wanna to stick around because I go into this issue again later in this video. Now, the third con is just the overall water situation and it's not really that bad, but coming from Peel, the water in Brantford is hard. Now, the local water comes from the Grand River, so it is not like the same water that comes from Lake Ontario. It is not treated the same as it is in Peel and the GTA. So if you are moving from Mississauga or from Peel, you are gonna notice a huge difference in the hardness in the water. Now this can have a, a funky taste to it. It can leave a little film on you. Uh, it can actually corrode your uh, faucets and your uh, dishwasher and everything a little bit faster because of how hard it is. But what I recommend is that when you move here, you get a water softener and a reverse osmosis system. By doing this, you are filtering the water again and making it softer and more to the standards of what is around the GTA. Now, I'm not entirely sure about this next con and it is the nightlife. See, I moved to Brantford in the height of COVID and I know things have slowly started to open back up, but I haven't found anything that really resembles a kind of nightlife that which you would find in the GTA or even in the Peel and Halton regions. There's some bars and karaoke things, but nothing has really sparked my interest and got me to want to go out here at nighttime. Now, I could be totally off base with this con, and I'm not entirely sure. So if you've lived in the Brantford area 
for more than five years and you know exactly what the fun things are to do here on the weekend please let me know as i would love to get out and explore the Brantford nightlife leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite thing is to do here in the city so let's move on to the pros of living in Brantford. Now this is my favorite part because I truly love this city and the potential that it has. Now the first pro is the location and proximity to major cities. Located just south of the 401 and just off of the 403 lies Brantford. It takes about an hour and 20 minutes to get to downtown Toronto by car. It takes about an hour and 15 minutes to get to Niagara Falls and it takes around 40 to 45 minutes to get to Turkey Point and Port Dover, which makes going to the beach and having a beach day all that much more easier. Especially since the summer months don't last all too long here in Ontario. If you want to skip the road altogether and you want to take the Via Rail into Toronto, you can do that right from downtown Brantford. Or you can take the GO Bus to the Aldershot GO Train and take the Lakeshore West Line all the way in not to mention you're about 20 minutes south of paris ontario now paris ontario has been named one of the most beautiful cities in ontario you definitely want to go check out still waters it is a restaurant that overlooks the grand river and their patio is absolutely stunning you can actually have some amazing food while having a great view of the dam and the grand river once you're done at Stillwaters, you can then go down into downtown Paris, check out all of the local shops, and get some ice cream. You'll definitely want to check it out. You will not be disappointed. You're going to want to check it out because Paris lives up to its name. It is truly a very beautiful city. Now, the next pro is there's education for all ages around here. Just to name a few, we have Wilfrid Laurier, University, we have Conestoga College, and we have the Six Nations Polytechnical Institute. Actually, most of the downtown core is dedicated to Wilfrid Laurier University. There are many residents down there along with the school campus. There are two French immersion schools in the city. There is also a variety of both public and Catholic elementary and post-secondary schools in the area and if private education is something you are looking for there are three different private schools in the area if you're wondering what the top high schools are here in Brantford and the neighborhoods that they're in I've done a separate video that you're going to want to watch as well it's in this card right here so Brantford is a very livable city there are a lot of things that go on here throughout the year from the Festival of Lights at Glenhurst to the Canada Day celebration at Lions Park in the city, there is not a shortage of things to do around here. I recently did a video on my experience as the first Canada Day here in Brantford, so if you're going to want to check that out, it's going to be in the card right here. Also have an annual Rib Fest, Jazz Fest, Beer Fest, and a Brantford International Village Festival. The city also puts on many events during the year such as movie night in the square and music in the square along with other various activities to get Brantford residents out. The city is also frequently used by film and production companies to create TV shows. We've seen just over the last year The Hands Made Tale and Murdoch Mysteries come to town to do filming. And let's not forget this latest one where they used the Brantford City Hall in the hit series, The Boys. Now, if going to museums and learning about history is your thing, Brantford is rich with history. As I mentioned before, Alexander Graham Bell, the inventor of the telephone, did live here when he invented the telephone. And you can actually go to his house and see where this miracle happened. You also have the ability to go to the Canadian Military Heritage uh, Museum the Woodland Cultural Center, and the Brantford Artisan Village. Now let's talk about another one of my favorite things around the city, and that is just the options for the types of food. I'm a foodie. I love to eat and get out and try new places, and Brantford doesn't disappoint. One of the many things that a lot of the locals rave about around Brantford is just the sheer selection of the foods available. There are a lot of local restaurants and cafes that cater to the delicacies 
of food from around the world. It is definitely something that they love to get out and try all these different foods and you have to check some of them out because they are absolutely delicious. If you're from Brantford, I would love to know what your favorite local restaurant and cafes are so I can get out and visit them and help other people explore this great city. Leave a comment down below and I'll make sure that I get out and try each and every one of them. Every year, Brantford has a chili cook-off. Now I have yet to experience this, but I've never been to a chili cook-off in my life and I'm quite excited to see what it's all about. We also celebrate World Nutella Day. The Ferrero factory is here in Brantford and we could not be happier. If all this wasn't enough, Brantford has been blessed with beautiful geography, natural amenity, and a lot of green spaces. Gorgeous Grand River, the designated Canadian Heritage River runs through the city. More than 70 kilometers of trails that line the Grand River. So this gives walkers, runners, hikers, and cyclists plenty of opportunities to explore the city. The city is very bike friendly with a lot of paths and a lot of trails that can be explored. Many of the trails known as the rail trail system connect some of the surrounding cities such as Paris, Hamilton and Port Dover. There are 18 kilometers of trails in and throughout the city, which makes it super easy to cycle in and around Brantford. It makes Brantford a premier destination for cyclists. Now, the next thing is the thriving economy. And if you know about the history of Brantford, you know that during the early 90s, there wasn't many jobs here as a lot of businesses moved out of Brantford. But now things have completely reversed and Brantford is on a trajectory to grow a massive amount in the next 10 to 15 years. Now, Brantford has been successful in attracting a large range of employers. We have anywhere from food and beverage manufacturing to advanced manufacturing to plastic and rubber production, logistics uh, and distribution companies, just to name a few. Brantford is a business friendly city and it has recently boasted some of the lowest unemployment rates in Ontario. Brantford was named one of the best locations for businesses to invest in both 2020 and 2021 by Site Selection Magazine. In the next couple years, the Ford Motor Company plans to build a EV electric car manufacturing in the city. Then Hockey, the hockey stick company, the famous one out of Cambridge has also agreed to move their manufacturing facility to Brantford. The government in Ontario is also supporting the growth of Brantford and they have pledged to give the city $25 million to help attract more manufacturing jobs to the city. The Ontario government is also investing $2.4 million into Brantford area businesses through the Regional Development Program. And finally, Costco is finally coming to the city. It just passed the third approval process and is being planned to be built next to Linden Park Mall. They're just ironing out the final details, so hopefully that can be built soon. Now on to the next pro, and it is the affordability of the homes out here. Now, you might be wondering, you might be saying, Jeff, you just said that the right prices are soaring in the uh, Brantford area, and that is correct, but it is a double-edged sword as it is still very affordable to find a home compared to the rest of the GTA. Home ownership is not just a dream here in Brantford. The prices in this city are about half of what you would find in the GTA. For six years in a row, Brantford has been named in the top 10 Canadian cities to buy real estate in by Money Sense Magazine. This includes being named number one in 2018 and coming in third three times in a row. Brantford is experiencing a surge in real estate demand and the prices are going up. But with it being a more attractive option for those that are living in the GTA and commute to work, this demand is not expected to die down anytime soon. With the pros far outweighing the cons, you can see exactly why I love this city so much. It does have all the big amenities with the small town feel. The residents here are still warm 
and friendly and will still say hi to you on the street. Thinking about moving to Brantford, I would be honored to show you around and show you all the great things this city has to offer. We can even find you the perfect spot for you and your family. If you like this video, you're going to want to watch this video right here where I go over the cost of living here in Brantford. So I'll see you in the next video.